Coming up, will FSD 12.3 murder this family? Will FSD 12.3 murder this family? Will FSD 12.3 hit this curb? All that and more, take a swig of your Red Bull and let's go. So, uh, all right, for this clip, I'm showing off how polite FSD 12.3 is. Almost any opportunity where there's, you know, a parking lot or in some kind of outlet where it turns back into traffic, if FSD 12.3 notices that someone might want to come out of there and into traffic, it usually leaves that gap for that person, and it's extremely consistent and good with that. Here we're in a parking lot, and FSD 12 is polite yet again for this person moving carts uh, as it tries to turn left here. I do want to call out, though, it does turn into a lane of the parking lot that it shouldn't be going in, if you notice to the arrow pointing the opposite way. I don't think that's really a critical error, but I did want to point out it technically shouldn't have turned there, but yeah, I don't think it was a huge deal. Here we're coming down the street, and this is interesting. A family's trying to cross the street, but oncoming traffic isn't really recognizing it. I thought FSD maybe would have just pressed forward, but it did stop for them, and it created an opportunity for the family to cross the street. And I wasn't touching anything. It didn't break, it didn't disengage, and I didn't hit the pedal once they were out of the way to get it to go. All of that was completely natural FSD 12.3 behavior. Extremely impressive. And it starts to hit on this thing that, that this clip also really hits on, which is that the car, well, FSD 12.3 is really starting to feel like a natural extension of myself. Watch this clip. I'm turning left. This family here is going to start wanting to cross here. They wave. The car starts going again. Look at that. So when I say that I feel connected with the car or that it feels like a natural extension of me, I didn't feel pressured to take over whatsoever as that family was trying to cross. Uh, the car started to slow as it sort of gauged what they were doing. They waved, saying, no, go ahead. I waved, just out of habit, and then the car just went. And I didn't have to do anything with the car. The car just handled everything. Really incredible. Uh, those moments are happening very frequently with 12.3. It's kind of mind-blowing. So here we're coming up on a left turn. I want you to pay attention to the, the dark van across the street that just came to its stop sign. There's a bit of a conflict between me and this van. I'm skipping forward a little bit of time. We were waiting for traffic to let up so that one of us could go. Again, I'm trying to make a left turn here. So this bus starts approaching. It looks like there's a clearing. I personally would have turned left here, but FSD Beta seems to be waiting for the van to go. And when the van doesn't go, it starts to creep forward, but then the van decides, okay, I'm gonna go forward. And everything worked out. There was nothing really super wrong with that clip, but I wanted your guys' take there. I, I personally probably would have just gone for it when that bus was turning, um, assuming that I could see clearly behind it that no one else was coming, which, eh, questionable. I don't know. Nothing really bad, but I thought it was an interesting clip. Here we're merging onto the freeway, and this is awesome. I would have thought that FSD Beta 12.3 would have just slotted in behind that truck, because it tends to, you know, if there's a lead car, it tends to follow it, thinking that a lead car is, like, taking a safe path. I guess at least that's the way older versions of FSD Beta worked. But here it decides to use as much of this merge lane as it can. It finds a place to merge. It notices that this car is actually turning into another lane, takes that opportunity to turn into the lane, and then it gets in front of that black car which is great because this lane that we were in just a second ago comes to an end very shortly. This to me, you can see me clapping, <laughs> this to me felt extremely smooth, extremely intelligent. I was just blown away. I was worried, I'm not gonna lie. It was a moment where I felt like maybe I'd have to take over, but everything worked out. I'm unsure if that is using the old FSD highway stack or if that's part of the new city stack or the FSD 12 stack. I don't know, but it worked out really smoothly. So just a little bit of construction there, handled it no problem. This is interesting. We're coming up on a red light. I'm in the wrong lane. FSD 12.3 put us in the wrong lane. It put us in the right turn only lane. 
uh, when the navigation wants us to go straight. It wants us to go straight through the light. So I was tempted to disengage here, but I pushed against that temptation and I decided to just see what FSD did once the light turned green. And as we can see here, it lets the other cars go, it creeps forward, and it just merges right back to correct itself. Really good. Even when FSD 12.3 makes mistakes, it, it either corrects them like a human or it reroutes like a human. It's really good. Here's another instance of that. So ignore the dog on the right. That doesn't really seem to have to do with anything. It seems like the navigation tripped it up here and it wasn't sure if it was supposed to turn right uh, at that you know, really weird angle or at the next opportunity. And it started to take that first opportunity, realized it wasn't doing the right thing and it corrected itself and it felt very human. And then it goes on to merge here, and there's kind of fast approaching cars coming from behind us. Merges perfectly, smoothly blends into this right turn. I mean, this is fantastic, guys. Now, I will say on this third day of driving, I noticed some issues. I did. I, I, I collected a good handful of issues, places where the car needs improvement. Uh, I'll probably turn that into its own video in the next day or two. Here we're entering a Burger King parking lot and this is interesting the cars in front of me are lined up to place their orders now this blue car is in my way i i would personally if i were trying to get through this parking lot and get out of here i would probably wait behind that blue car too but here's what's in what's interesting is that fsd 12 even though it has room now to go around these cars and take an exit and get out of here it seems to think that it can't. It seems to think that these cars are taking the exit and that it's lined up behind them. It, it, once it sees this car though, it seems to realize and start progressing forward. Notice it wasn't the cars in the uh, drive through line moving forward that got it to react. It was once it noticed that in fact there was drivable space back there from that other car approaching that it decided to go forward. So here we are, we're about to make a left turn waiting for the cars to uh, ease up here and it's a little tricky the cars are lined up pretty far back there's really not much room for me to get over because right after this I need to make a right turn so I need to turn left into that right turn lane and there we go it does it it doesn't it's not able to fully perfectly align itself in the lane but that's okay that doesn't trip it up at all it just eases its way in. It's at a little bit of an angle, but that's fine. It knows it's going to gradually correct that as traffic moves forward. This is the type of human intuition we have all been waiting for from FSD beta for three years or for longer, I guess. It's real. It's it's mind blowing. And I know I said just a minute ago that I'm going to have a whole video of errors that it made. But the amazing thing is that it's not complicated situations that trip it up. It's not difficult, complicated, nuanced situations usually that trip it up. It's usually simple things that seem fixable to me. Now this is another interesting clip where I'm interested to get your opinions. So we get kind of we get kind of caught in the middle of this left turn as the light turns red, but these pedestrians are, you know, still blocking us. What do you think was the right thing to do there? I think it did the right thing. I think we were in a rock and a hard place, short of reversing and just getting out of there, which I don't know that we could have done. I think there was someone behind us. I think that was the right thing to do. You just wait until those pedestrians pass, you take your turn, and it is what it is. And I don't know, right or wrong, it, it didn't seem horrible. It didn't seem obnoxious to me. No one was honking at us. It seems like everyone understood. So that's my third day of driving with FSD Beta 12.3. I'll be uploading a lot more stuff shortly here, including some of the mess ups. Thanks for watching.